Hello everybody, I'm Peggy. I'm Laura. And we are Urban Booze. This is today our low carb episode. Mm -hmm. Oh gosh, and I'm all upside down. <laughs> <laughs> now, we start a new year off right. You know, we all have those resolutions. Mm -hmm. So here we go for us grown folks who want to find a way to cut a corner here and there mm -hmm. and, and to still have our drink and, and watch our, our calories. So here right. we go. Pleasant surprise, pure forms of alcohol, whiskey, gin, tequila, rum, and vodka are completely free of carbs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. is, is that good news or what? It's great news. <laughs> <laughs> Get your shot in. Get your shot in. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Also, and for things like like right now, I'm, I'm dealing with a chest cold, mm -hmm. and I will make a hot toddy, and I will put... A shot of whiskey one shot of whiskey in my ginger tea which is grated mm. ginger boiled water a shot of whiskey drink that go to sleep get up in the morning and hopefully I'm not coughing as much oh, well, that's good and for those who are still on the, the, <clears throat> the keto diet diet there's some keto friendly drinks mm -hmm. um, that you can have that we're gonna kind of go over a little bit and you know wine and light varieties of beer are, are relatively long carbs who knew? Who would have thunk it? Okay. Right. And they're usually about three or four grams of, of carbs per serving. And please note that in order to effectively lose weight, because I've been there and done that, you have to take in 32 grams a day of carbs. You got to really keep that at 32. Right. So you don't, you want to make sure that it's not all liquid because you're just not going to lose the weight. Right. And the, the sweet thing, and I will say sweet, that's you know, maybe a bad pun, rum. Mm -hmm. which is nothing but distilled sugar okay doesn't mess with your sugars okay. i've done atkins and they mm -hmm. count your sugars and mm -hmm. so one shot of whiskey yeah. one shot of rum yeah. you're, you're fine you're absolutely fine now rum straight i don't know who can drink it <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know a shot of whiskey you can put over an ice cube and right you know drink sip on that exactly and, but i don't know if you can do that with a shot of rum but please some people yeah, can yeah i'm just not for one and just for you know for those who are really counting it you know we want to let you know that three to four <coughs> grams are about 1.5 ounces so that's like a shot mm -hmm. you know for whiskey beer gin tequila rum and vodka but guess what beer drinkers light beer you could drink 12 ounces mm -hmm. three to four carbs so you can quench that thirst, y'all. Me, on the other hand, I'm not happy about the beer information. I'm like, what the fudge? That's not helping me. You know. I'm gonna share some beer information. <laughs> the Belgian dark beers I recently found out. When I say recent, I mean two to three days ago. I found out that the Belgian dark beers are good for your gut health, as good as probiotics. So why? I'm not sure why. Hmm. How they do whatever they do to make the beer, they do it twice, and that's so whatever's in there is I mm -hmm. guess in there extra strong and but they're not killing it, the good bacteria in not, their processes right. so that it might not be highly pasteurized I mean it'll be interesting to find out I have to look that'll dig, be dig something really interesting it, yeah. for those of you who don't like yogurt and some, and we're talking right? about a glass of beer we're not talking about a six pack of, so that's like 12 ounces beer. we're talking 12 about 12 ounces right that should that's, be an, that's enough, but that's enough. That's cool. That's, that's cool because if, if yogurt's not your cup of tea and you don't mm -hmm. want to go out and run and get a probiotic yogurt, you can grab you a, a dark Belgian a beer. A dark Belgian mm -hmm. and, and and take care of your system, mm -hmm. you know? With your meal. <laughs> now, for those of us who like mixed drinks, I thought I'd put together a little list here. Okay. Uh, so, margarita people, one cup of margarita. It, it is eight ounces, but you know what? Something is better than nothing at all. 13 grams of carbs. That's not no, bad. That, that ain't bad. That's not bad. That ain't bad. Okay. Wait a minute. What happens if you have two? Because 26 is not bad. Well, then either. you're jacked. Then you've, take, you've, done, you've taken in all your carbs for the day. Remember, 32. You need 32, 33 oh, right, 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 to right, effectively right, right. lose weight. Right, right. All right. But the number's so low. <laughs> That's just the bad news. Not two, because one. one. Okay. All right. Bloody Mary. Bloody Mary girls and guys. Uh, one cup is equal to 10 grams. And that probably has a lot to do because of the tomato mm -hmm. in it and the vodka. Mm -hmm. But you can have one cup. Low. You can have a, one cup of Bloody Mary. Mm -hmm. That ain't bad. Okay, now we're going for the stronger stuff. Whiskey sour. 3.5 ounces is 14 grams of carbs. But again, it's going with something is better than nothing at all. Uh, sangria, which is what I love to make. 
Uh, one cup is 27 grams. Oh. Which makes sense because it's all the fruit, which means all of those extra sugars. Yeah. I right. mean, yes, it comes from fruit. And so in your head, you can say, well, it's healthy. It comes right. from fruit. And it comes from wine, which but is But you better fruit. have some protein with that. Like, yeah. that is that that has totally, like, undermined it, all of your carbs for the day. Uh, pina colada. Well, okay. The good news is you can have 4.5 ounces, which is, what, a half, half a, a cup? cup? 32 grams. That is your entire gram intake for the day. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go back to the two margaritas. <laughs> I know. If I'm blowing up like that, I'm going to two I know, margaritas. That, that's like a sip of pina colada. But mm -hmm. you know, uh, Cosmo, well, mm, 3.5 ounces is 22 grams. That's that's the sip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're done. So that's like if you're not eating anything really for the rest of the day, like pina colada. Uh, but regular beer, regular beer, 12 ounces is 12 grams. So, you know, while they're telling you to go with the light beer, you can go for you your regular beer. You can go with the beer. regular beer, too. I heard good things about Guinness, too, being, which is a, oh. Guinness is, is filling. It is. Okay. It's filling. So, um, you can go with one of those. So, there you have it. Mm -hmm. Low-carb options. There you go. Okay, we didn't talk about food like we normally do at Urban Booze, but, you know, we thought, you know what, let's, let's take an opportunity to address what we all deal with, and that's food, how your body burns the fat, mm -hmm. what can you enjoy, how can you not deprive yourself right. of something that you love, mm -hmm. and you know, we, we hope that you found this very interesting. And informative. And yeah. informative. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have any suggestions, or if you know something that we haven't come across, please share. We'd love to, you know, post stuff like this to people, to you people like yourself who follow us, because we're all about the information. Right. Right. Okay. Right. And if you know more power. about that, yeah. the dark brewing of the yeah, Belgian beer, share that. Share. Share we that. We want to know. That's 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 like great news to me. Okay. That was the highlight of the week. I know. Highlight. Okay. So we don't have to eat our kids' yogurt. I'm <laughs> <laughs> probiotic yogurt. We can go out and do some go some grown folks approach mm -hmm. to probiotics, or, or just gut health. Gut health. Not sure what, if it's a probiotic oh, thing. Oh, okay, what okay. It is. I'm, I'm not just stretching it. Gut Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and be and, and overall health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you know, comments, suggestions. Did you like this? Uh, the content that we provided. Share with us. And and if you have any suggestions on you know future you know content that we would love to kind of you know enlighten everyone on, we'd appreciate it. Mm -hmm. So you can always find us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. In our website, urbanbooze.com. Okay. So, so until next time. See you later. We're, we're Urban Booze and we'll be enjoying what's good. Sip by, by sip. sip. Bye.